has the world's fastest Bronco Sport arrived? Well, I'm not quite sure if it's the world's fastest, but it might be the first quickest. Let me explain. So the Bronco Sport, of course, from Ford, is the unibody version of the Ford Bronco. As you're probably aware, there have been a number of delays in getting out the regular body on frame Bronco. Now, a lot of that is due to uh, parts shortages. There's a chip shortage affecting the entire industry. The chips are made all over the planet. It's not just in China, but there's chips, there's significant chip manufacturing taking place in South Korea and Japan, for example, and pretty much every manufacturer has been affected. And so the big Bronco, unfortunately, there's been some delays, but if you got your order in early, you should be looking at probably this summer to get your big Bronco. So that's good news. But the other good news is the Bronco Sport has been actually selling very well and it's become quite popular, at least as far as I understand it. In fact, I've got a Bronco Sport coming in the next couple of days. I'm gonna have it for a week. I'll be able to test it on-road, off-road. Let me know down below in the comments specifically what you wanna see about the Bronco Sport. I'll see if I can get it into my video with the resources that I have available to me. So the Bronco Sport comes with two different engines. There's the 1.5 liter, which is a three cylinder, and then there's the two liter EcoBoost, which is the subject of this video. Ford says that from the factory, the two liter makes 250 horsepower and 275 pound feet of torque. It's made it to an automatic transmission. I believe it's an eight speed auto. No manual, unfortunately available in the Bronco Sport uh, body on frame. So there's a company called Vivid Racing. I think they're out of Arizona and they have taken a Bronco Sport. It's a Badlands. They've got this as a project car. And what they've done is they have put it on a dyno and they've done some baseline numbers and then they have tuned it. So the baseline numbers are measuring horsepower at the wheels, not at the crank. Ford is gonna give you the crank numbers, which are 250 horsepower. When you put the power down to the wheels, you're gonna have some driveline losses. And so this is an all wheel drive. We're having some driveline losses, which is completely normal, completely expected. Anyways, the baseline numbers that they put down for the Bronco Sport on the two liter. We're at 180 horsepower and we move up here at about 215. Still good gain. See right here, we are about 232 foot pounds of torque. Now with the tune, we are up here at around 290 foot pounds. So we're dealing with a Delta. We're dealing with an increase on the torque side of about 58 pound feet by my calculation, according to their video, and a horsepower jump of about 35, 36 horsepower. Now that's pretty significant. They didn't exactly take it to the drag strip. This isn't exactly a drag car. I don't think anybody's buying their Bronco Sport to go down the drag strip. It is a pretty affordable way of going off road though at sort of an entry level price. You've got competitors like the Jeep Compass and perhaps the RAV4 all wheel drive. There's probably some others as well. So they've been able to get this horsepower bump. It's pretty inexpensive. They're talking about $600 for their tune. You need to send it in and do a bench flash. I don't know if that includes uh, the price to bench flash it or unlock it, I should say. And that's pretty common with ECUs now to need to send them into a tuner to get them unlocked. That's just kind of the state of the industry. And actually it's getting more and more difficult to tune cars because there's encryption that is being uh, embedded or being included with the ECUs. And sometimes the encryption in, on some ECUs like the Bosch MG1 is so far impossible to crack. Now, on the Vivid Racing website, they are claiming that you're gonna be able to get with their tune 305 horsepower and 350 pound feet of torque. Now they're calling those crank numbers and we can't really measure crank numbers unless you take the engine out of the car. We're not doing that. They're taking some sort of estimation, but by just my calculations, just looking at their video, they're talking about an increase of about 58 pound feet of torque. So that puts me around 333 pound feet, not 350. And we're talking about an increase in horsepower of about 35. So that takes us from 180 to 215. If you put those in crank numbers, you're maybe like at 285, something like that. And power, we're talking about going from 180 to 215. That's about a 35, 36 
uh, horsepower increase. By my math, that puts us around 285. So I'm not quite sure where they're getting the 305 numbers. Maybe it's a little bit of clever marketing. Maybe there's something in the video that I missed. So I'm not casting any aspersions on Vivid Racing at all. Their numbers are very, very good. So if you're looking at this package, if you're interested in it, definitely contact them for the details. I'm not sponsored by them at all. I have no affiliation with Vivid Racing. I just thought this was a really interesting video because I haven't seen anything on the performance of improving the engine of the Bronco Sport yet. So this is pretty cool. This really could be the world's fastest Bronco Sport at this moment in time. And what's really cool about the Bronco Sport like the Bronco is that Ford is actively encouraging the aftermarket. So I think we're going to start seeing a lot of things like lift kits, like skid plates, like bash bars, like lighting setups, uh, like all kinds of different things that are going to be able to enhance the performance off-road of your Bronco Sport and make it, you know, what I'm assuming is going to be a pretty capable vehicle. Ford has announced for the regular Bronco that there's, I think, well over 200 aftermarket companies that are involved in providing uh, parts for the Bronco that are going to be available through the Ford dealer network. And of course, you can just go direct as well. So just a quick video. I'm traveling this week. I've got the Mustang Mach-E. I've been doing a road trip on it. Spoiler alert, it's an incredible vehicle, actually. I'm super impressed. I've got it for just a couple more days, so let me know down below in the comments if there's anything that you want to know about the Mustang Mach-E. I've got the premium all-wheel drive extended range edition. My name is Eric. I'm traveling, but I will see you very soon. Thanks for watching.